Welcome to this month's monthly update. We find ourselves a few days into November already seeing some pretty seasonably warm temperatures. Uh, had some fun trick-or-treating with the kiddos. Uh, probably ate a little bit too much of their candy and now find myself into a bit of a weight loss program to start the, uh, start the month. But uh, honestly, wanted to start out with a huge, huge thank you to uh, everybody who's worked with me, not just in the past month, but uh, over the past year. Some pretty exciting news uh, in the month of October. Uh, I was actually named one of CIR's top producing realtors. So uh, a huge thank you again to those who, who put their faith in me to represent them uh, and obviously has shown uh, with a pretty good month here for me. Um, October continued to be a really good month for the Calgary real estate market as well. Uh, record high sales of 2,186. That is 61% higher than the rolling three-year average we're like five year average for the month of October. Uh, Detached, the one most of my guys like to watch. Lower inventory is pushing the prices up right now. Uh, seems to be the trend for most of the year, but inventory is under two months again. Basically meaning if houses stopped going on the market, it would take less than two months to sell out what was remaining of the inventory. So that is very advantageous for those who are still looking to sell their home. Uh, normally might wanna wait till spring. You're actually still doing okay if you're doing it right now. Uh, duplexes, very similar story, lower inventory, driving prices up, uh, and driving them up about 9% higher than last year. Townhouses, not quite the same story here. Uh, lots of new listings, which means the inventory isn't falling. Uh, pricing still not at the 2014 levels, but prices did still trend up a little bit. Uh, they're up about 7% year over year. Apartments is a little bit of a different story this month too. Uh, lots of sales in city center downtown, which is a newer trend, but they were lower than the rest of the baseline trend. So uh, those sales lowered the benchmark price, which offset gains, which we were getting in other districts around the city. Uh, so prices are up, not quite as crazy of the, as they have been in the other segments. And there's definitely no inventory shortages here. Uh, probably a good time if you're an investor to be looking to getting into the apartment side of it. Uh, that's it for this month. Uh, I would remind you, if you are interested in finding out what your price is worth, what your home price is worth, please reach out to me. I would love to help you out. Uh, a couple new things this month. You can see the start of my new video studio. So I'm looking to be putting out some daily content in terms of Instagram Reels, TikToks. Uh, if you have any questions or things about the real estate market that you would like to have answered, shoot me an email, shoot me an IM. I would love to answer those questions. Always looking for new ideas to make a video about. In the meantime, thanks for checking this out and we'll talk to you next month.